Hello all, we are here for one more lesson of this AutoCAD 2016 training course. In this lesson, I want to show you uh, two more topics about layers and uh, I'm calling this lesson Keeping Track of Layers. Uh, so uh, I want to talk to you about um, the possibility to track and to know information inside layers. But first, I want to show you a function that uh, we can use to change properties of uh, entities belonging to a layer. So uh, I'm, I'm doing an entity, in this case a line. As you can see, I'm inside layer uh, zero. So this line will be uh, inside layer zero, will belong to layer zero. And now I will create a new layer which uh, I can call layer one. So new layer, you know already how to do it. And I will say color red, okay? So now I will change to layer one and I will make a new line and you see that uh, when we create one entity, uh, this entity will respect the properties inside the layer, okay? But uh, I, 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 may, I, I may want to change the, the property and I want to uh, set individual properties uh, to entities uh, which are belonging to a particular layer. And for that, um, we may need to uh, change one of the properties. Uh, in this case, I will use the color, but the idea or the concept, it is the same for the line type or the line weight. Um, so what happens, it is um, we have defined uh, on the color dialog box the property by layer and the by layer uh, sets the property we are talking about uh, as respecting what is defined on the layer okay so if I say by layer on the color then it will not assume the property here but will assume the property of the color on the layer but if I change here and say green then if I create now one entity you see it will respect this property and not the property on the layer this is uh, very important to understand but uh, one other topic to understand it is uh, after uh, I create any type of entity, um, any entity inside AutoCAD has properties and one of the properties it is uh, the layer where the property is belonging. So I can go to the properties window, sorry, I can open the properties window, I can um, say this entity for example and the properties are shown here and I can set the color of this entity like by layer so automatically will change and now I can say instead of belonging to layer 1 I want it to belong to layer 0 and again because the the property it is by layer then it will respect the information of the layer which has in this case the color definition so layer zero and that's it okay so it is important to understand this notion of the by layer okay the second topic i want to show you it's uh, about the possibility to, uh, to have a list 
of um, your layers because we are doing these academic examples and I have one or two layers but we can have a lot more in, in a professional drawing. So I will create a couple of new layers to add this list just to have a bigger number five or six okay done and now I could uh, ask the system for a list of layers and for that I need to write on, on the command line this command log file mode okay just do it the enter uh, the default value has uh, a zero, so you have to set this to one. In my particular case, I have already one. So if, if I had no one, I should say one. And now um, I can do uh, the enter. Uh, one, sorry. Now I need to say which property uh, I want to, to, to check. I, and I want to see the layer, so I must write down minus layer. Okay, it is here. And now I will say this question mark, enter, and the list I want all, so the symbol which is inside brackets, enter. And I get this AutoCAD text window okay with this layer listed okay this is interesting to see uh, what we have but besides this I have also a possibility to uh, have a physical file with this description also and uh, I have it already uh, written at this moment this log file uh, but I need to find the, the folder where this file is placed. So uh, I, I may know it uh, by default or not, but if you don't know it, you may ask the system to say this uh, get var, then inside these uh, symbols, log file path then close brackets and enter and you have the path where this file it is placed okay I, I, I have it already open so um, I have it here and I have the file which is um, which has this information it will have the name of your file in this case drawing two and then a serial of numbers and this is a txt file so I will open it and now you can see I have all this information I've been doing in my command line and I have among other things this information of layers which uh, I've uh, asked the system to run and to make this description okay so this may be interesting not only for this layer functionality but also for other commands that we are going to see in the future uh, so open this again uh, okay so these are the two uh, topics i was interested in showing you for this information about layers again any questions any uh, comments you may you may put us uh, do it on the on the comments uh, area of the videos or send us uh, an email and we will get you some answers okay thank you